I am Coaster Royalty on behalf of the True North Golf Society and we are going to review yet another Golf Club 2 golf course here uh, this afternoon. So we welcome everyone in who is watching on the Twitch stream as well as watching on YouTube. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to uh, review a course that I just played nine holes of this morning. I thought it was an excellent course for nine holes and so I thought it would be a great one uh, to go ahead and review. So we're going to do that. It's a little bit difficult to pronounce. I'm hoping that I can find it here. Yes, it's right here. Valle de los Reyes Garcia course. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that one. As you can see, it says continue on the screen there, but I'm not going to continue that round. I'm going to start from the fresh. Um, it is a par 72 with 18 holes, 7,213 yards. Uh, soft fairways and soft greens, so they do hold, which I really do like on a lot of these longer holes. And the green speeds are medium fast, and so we'll go ahead and start a new round. I'm going to play from the middle tees, uh, like I always do when I'm reviewing courses, just so that we can kind of get a get an idea of an average uh, pin placement, or excuse me, uh, tee placement. With that, we'll go ahead and get started. Once again, while we're waiting on that, uh, today is the last day for the season one of the True North Golf Society. So we're getting ready to get into season two. So you want to join a really good society with about 300 Welcome members. The That's the one to go for. We got some and we're going to be starting we season two birds, as, well, as well as launching a brand new website to correspond feeling. with the uh, society as well. And we're going to really have a lot of fun. And then it's coming up here in the near future, we're also going to have that virtual Ryder Cup. So if you're looking forward to getting something uh, like that going, make sure you join the society. All right, so we'll go ahead and zoom out here and pan around this first nine. And as you can see, just a nice little uh, kind of uh, what we consider a nice forested course around here. Uh, nice job on the layout of the course. And so we'll, even, we'll see some stuff. We've got a driving range over there to the right back just a little bit you can see the clubhouse and some of the other holes coming in we'll go ahead and get started here the fairways are a little bit um, I don't know if you want to call it they're narrow let's put it that way so I'm probably going to be in the rough quite a bit this round again remember a reminder to everyone I am not a very good uh, golf club two player uh, sometimes I'm good sometimes I'm not so if this ends up being a pretty bad round please forgive me uh, but we are here to uh, review the course. If you are joining us on Twitch and you would like to uh, talk about anything or converse in the uh, chat room there, please go ahead and leave your comments and I'll read them out here on the air. And we'll have a discussion. We can talk about sports, golf, whatever you'd like to do. And I have really hooked this one bad to start off with. On this one. It's my first hole since this morning, so... Could be a long, long day, guys. All right. So in the heavy rough, we're not even going to get it back out there. So we're just going to move it up the fairway, hopefully a little bit. There we go. So hopefully that gets in the fairway. And it does. So that'll leave us a pretty difficult third shot. But like I said, this course isn't okay, uh, particularly easy. It's not one this that you could score thing. 18 under on, per se. I'm sure those out there who can uh, do that, but definitely not someone of my caliber. You can see the ball way below my feet. These uh, these kind of holes really uh, kind of, um, or these lies, excuse me, really do cause me some problems. Let's see what I can do with it. This is going to be one of those pitch shots, so that will be a big help. Perfect fast. That's never good. But it's going to nuzzle its way down close to the pin. I'll take that for a third shot and hopefully be able to save the par after a really save poor tee shot. The greens are one, running at 165, as you can see. That's in the upper tier, so getting closer to the fast, I guess. Kind of medium fast. And I'm able to save the par there on the first hole. So as you can see, the course is very well laid out. It does have some undulations and some, some areas in the fairway where your ball is going to be below or um, above your feet. So it does give a little bit more difficulty than your average flat course. 
you can see, another very, very uh, difficult fairway to hit. This is very narrow as it bottlenecks down here. This is a par five, hole number two. Four mile an hour headwind in our, uh, excuse me, wind in our face. So see if we can get a better drive this time. I still pulled it a little bit, but that's way better than it was last time. That's probably going to run right through the fairway. Will I get a Wilson bounce? Well, how about that? I got the Wilson bounce. For those of you who know, if, you, if you're part of this society, you know that uh, Tim Wilson, the, the founder of the uh, True North Golf Club, uh, gets all kinds of great bounces in this game. And so we've kind of named the, uh, the, the great bounces that you get after him. This is going to be an interesting shot because the tree might be in the way. I want to try and get it down there anyway. The ball is way below my feet, so this should be interesting. I hit that tree right square in the middle of it, but we'll see what it does. It is a par five. It came out not too bad. Perfect, perfect. And it's going to just make it into the heavy rough, but I think yeah, it's not a great lie. And nestle down in the cabbage there. What the flop shot will do here out of this heavy stuff. I'm just going to try it. Never really tried it out of the heavy stuff like this. But let's see if we can't get a good swing on it. Maybe get it up there close. That didn't turn out too bad. If it'll roll a little bit. It's like I caught a slope. Still would just like to par. I'm trying to stay even as, as long as I possibly can. You know, sometimes right, I get a little overzealous. Not a, too hard of a putt, maybe. Maybe we can... Slide this one in. Oh, I didn't play it out far enough to the left. Darn it. All right, nice little two foot putt. All right, so we should be able to save par. It'll leave us even after two. And with that, you will stay at even par. Okay, let's put this drive All on right. the fairway. Another par three, or excuse me, par four. Hole number three. See, another very, very narrow fairway. Try to let the wind do its job here and hopefully not hook the ball. Bit of a dirty swing. And there. I did hook it. That's going to be right in the bunker, I'm afraid. Ah, just not swinging great today, guys. Fairway bunker. Do you, do you get it back on the fairway? Do you try to make up some distance? Up to you. So we've got 73 to 93, so you never know how it's really going to come out of this stuff. I'm just going to try and get it down here into the fairway, maybe. Could be in the rough here. All righty. Take not that bad, and hopefully bad. get it up there and be down. able to save our par. We have a pitch, so this should be an easier shot. Should be close. Oh man, that went a lot farther than I thought it would. Hmm. All right, 12 footer here. And I'm able Great to save the par with that. Par. A little flatter putt up there on the top. So if you can get the ball above the hole there, you'll be in really good shape. Nice. If you're playing this course and you want to get a chance for birdie there, okay, definitely on that pin set one on that hole. Way. Make sure you're above the hole. You have a flat, uh, flat part of the green there to putt down to. All right, our first par three. So we'll kind of zoom out and go to the high uh, parts here, I can tell you. And hopefully we'll be able to see this. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, We'll be able to kind of raise up and show you that this hole does have a nice waterfall aspect to it. 
as you're going to be swinging over there from the left. So that's an interesting little shot of a waterfall there and a really nice job done with that uh, this this whole layout. All right, so it's downhill 28 feet. We've got six mile an hour winds. So we're going to take some of this off and hopefully let the distance take care of itself. Oh, and I just dropped the controller out of my hand just about. Looks like you're going to hit some sand here. Really not hitting the ball well at all. That was terrible. I'll tell you what, everybody ends up here sometimes. Uh, take this. I'm plugged. Uh, I don't know if I'm just going to get out of there or not. It does not. Definitely going to drop one here, guys. All right, we'll take that chip and take our medicine for the really bad shot Four off the feet. tee. Let's do this. And get a bogey. And there's your bogey. Beautiful hole, though. Sitting at one over for the round. Okay. All right. Plunker so we have a fairway. really long par four here at 492 yards. Hold it again. All right, looking good so far. But the wind should push this one back out into the fairway, and it does. At about 280, that's my normal driving distance. All right, we're about. Uh, so it leaves us a very long out, say, uh, second shot into this green. Holes in the front left. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to let it do its thing because it does have eight mile an hour winds. So it's uphill. Not the cleanest swing. Nope, and I hooked it again. Man. Might have been the right club, too. All right, I'm going to start looking down at my controller. I've been trying not to do that, but uh, looks like I'm going to have to start doing that. Might drop another one here. Okay, 11 footer here. This is definitely makeable. I did not move an inch. It certainly looked like it was going to move down to the hole, and it does not. Little six footer here. Nothing too scary. Solid pot so in back there. Back to back bogey. bogeys. Not glad you made that pot. good at all here to start Sitting off with this afternoon but like round. i said not very okay, good at this game this and don't claim to be and way. don't really care if i ever will be i uh, just really enjoy playing it and as i mentioned some of these courses and the time that these people take to make these courses is just fantastic bit of a greasy i swing. can't even do it looking down Pretty deep rough here. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This one might be in the rough. That was the third, and I'm still in the rough. I have not yet to be out of the rough this hole, so this is not how you should play this hole at all. Still not on. 
<sighs> wow. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. Right, Another bogey. bogey. So triple. Back to back Sitting to back bogeys to go three over, over. and yeah. that is not what I want to do when I'm broadcasting. But like okay, I said, some more, some days I just don't have it when it comes to golfing on the on the game. So, let's see what if we can fix some stuff as we continue to move forward here. It's a little bit better, perfect nice. slow. Be in the fairway. So it didn't hook completely that time. And we have about... So if we get to the seventh hole here, welcome everyone who's watching on here. Twitch. Also, anyone who's uh, watching this on YouTube, welcome in. This is the Hooking Slice. I'm Coaster Royalty on behalf of the True North Golf Society. We are reviewing golf courses. This is the Garcia course. Perfect per, it's a better swing. And I'm long this time. Okay. But we'll take that compared to what we've been doing the past couple holes, okay, that's for sure. For the birdie. I shot it straight right as I came out of that one, so put that a good eight feet by. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. Oh, yeah, I missed that to too. That so one. we're going to hit another bogey. This is just really bad golf. Well, I'm glad you sunk that one. That's for bogey. Sitting at four over for the round. So Valet de los Reyes. It's the Garcia All course. Right. Let's let her rip. So hole eight, par three. I'm on our win, so we'll see if this can get taken up back here to the back hole placement. Perfect, perfect. Should go right at the pin. And it does, and that is the best shot we've hit today. Like it does roll down the hill a little bit, but uh, we'll take that all day long. Ten footer here. I think this a chance can go. for a birdie. All right, so That's finally got one of those shots back. That's a really good hole there. Three over for the round. Welcome. If you just joined the Twitch stream, welcome in. This is the Hooking Slice. I'm Coaster Royalty. We are reviewing Valle de los Reyes, the Garcia course. As you can see, I'm not doing very well at all at the moment. Um, but it is There's a beautiful course to play. Hole. So if you Let's have a chance one. to play and you want to see another nice course, definitely take care of this one. Here's one of my favorite. This is the hole that I stopped play, or that I just stopped on this morning, but I really do like the tree and the bunker in the middle. It makes you kind of have to make a decision. Um, I've decided that I'm going to try and go to the left because I've been hooking everything, but you can also go to the right there as well. All right. And that time I pushed it, good. so hopefully it will not get caught up in the rough. And that's going to roll right down off the side of it. So it turns out to be not too bad. Didn't get a lot on that one. Now we are looking at around so 187. Yards to the pin. 187 left to the green. Pin is tucked way in the back right corner. Hooked that one. I felt that one. So that's going to be way over here to the left side of the green. 
but we are on, so we'll take that. Thirty-eight feet separates you and the hole. I hope you very uh, difficult you hole here, or very difficult putt. It's uphill. Just going to try and get it down there close so that it's not too hard of a par putt. And I crushed it. Is it going to start coming down the hill now? Ooh. Just a little bit too oh, far to the left. That would have been fantastic. really good, but we'll take that lag Super putt. Hot. Just didn't drop. Okay, let's check the old scorecard. And after nine, you're not doing too bad. I think you could still maybe take it up a notch through the back nine, though. All right, so we're on the back now, so we'll do a pan out and just kind of show you the back nine a little bit here. Signature hole there with the symbol in the middle of that lake. We'll go and take a look at that when we get to that hole. All right. So hole 10. It's like a drivable hole here. It does dog leg to the left. It's a better swing. This is a beauty. It doesn't run through the fairway, and it looks like it is going to maybe. These fairways are soft, so I was hoping that would hit soft, and it does. And it should leave us a good angle into the green, so even though the ball is way above our feet. Yards to go still. All right. So 158. No uh, elevation change. The wind that's going to come right back at us here. So let's go right here. Looking good. Be good. It looks like it could be. All right, we'll take that. Okay, on the green. All right, 13 footer here. Okay, this will be a very delicate putt. The 15 feet, at, the 13 feet up the hill. Got to make sure we hit it hard enough, but not too hard. And oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Up. That's what happens. Dag on a good chance there to get another one back, but little might be able to salvage a par. Here, too scary. And there that it is. So that'll keep us at three over par. Okay, so that'll keep you at three over for the round. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. It's a little bit wider of a fairway. You can see it does kind of undulate there in the middle, so you have to be careful where you hit there. I want to try and aim for the left side and let it come back with the right with the wind. It's my normal swing, just a well, little bit like of a pull. Be in the short stuff and here. that might hit and tick left. And it does, but it should hold. Okay, take that. And uh, about 135 yards out from here. We've got a 10 mile an hour wind, 14 feet uphill, so we're just going to allow this to do its thing and let the wind take it over there. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't get a full backswing, guys. I do that sometimes when I get in a hurry. So as you can see, I come up way short, so on it. Wow. I don't know what happened there? That should have been a full swing. All right, 13 footer here. Yeah, oh, another bogey. So I'm going to lose that bird and drop a shot once again back to four over. Too bad. The putting is way off today, guys. Solid putt out there. It was for bogey, but uh, 
solid nonetheless. But again, okay. we'll just continue to move, move forward over. here and hopefully get a little bit better shots going okay. in. Okay, par three. Let's All see right, if we can drop so we're this uh, tee shot. Close. Nine on our wind uh, out of the north, 17 feet up the hill here. Hopefully this time I won't not have a full backswing. There we go. That's better. Should I think this is going to need to bite. Good if it holds. And it does barely. Just a little bit too much on that one. Looks like we're going to have a really difficult putt here. Yeah, okay, he ended up nice and safe. Still a little work to do, though. Okay, 20 oh, feet. Oh, yeah, big swinger left to right. 20 feet. Not even close. Wow. I barely hit that too, and I knew that's what it was going to do. Unbelievable. Looks like a 24 footer from here. Oh, that was the right line. Another bogey. That was going to be excellent. And it wasn't. All right, let's see what the scorecard says. Five over for the round. Okay, part five. All right, so we have a par five. See if we can get it over this bunker. I'm not sure we can, but at this point, playing so bad, I really need to try it. And I pulled it, so it's going to get over it. Now is it going to stay in the fairway? And it is, so we'll take that. A good nice. drive. I'd say around 250 yards to go here. All right, so we have ball below our feet. 245 to the hole. Definitely wasn't solid contact. Yeah, that's going to be way short. And probably end up in the bunker, and it does. Well, you're in the sand, so uh, let's, just, uh, let's just get out of there and, and move on with our lives. Hit the full sand wedge there, and it just wasn't enough. So, should have went up to the gap wedge, probably. I'll putt this. This is for birdie. Oh slid my goodness, that was so close. Slid it right on by. Just cannot judge the distance on these screens. Okay, let's see if you can save par here. There's a nice putt for you. Roll it around for the par. And that'll keep you at five over for the round. So I really do like and how this course is laid out. The, the fairways are manageable. 14. This is not meant to be an easy course by any stretch of the imagination. So it is laid out very nicely. The rough is very difficult once you get in it. So it does... Um, you know, it does penalize you if you get over there. So you really have to make sure your drives are good, which mine today have not been. Uh, push that one. Overcompensated. And hopefully it won't catch that hill. Good. Should it make me stay on the fairway there? And we are right around 175 yards out. All right, so 175, eight mile an hour winds from the northwest. So we will keep it right there, about. Just let it do its thing, I believe. As long as I can hit it straight. Better on the swing. This one's a beauty. Let's see if it rolls out for me. Should have 
knocked it down or let it go a well, little you're bit. you're on the green. It's not knocked huge, it down as much, but that's okay. Out, but we'll take it. All right, this next one's for birdie. Is it going to move to the right any? No, it is not. Wow. Very shocked that these do not move Ooh, like they say they're going to move here, on these greens scary. sometimes. Solid par. Well done. Okay, All right, so, so with that, keep you at five keeps us at five over. over. It's not good, but it could have been a lot worse. Okay. All right, here so go. here's the hole I was mentioning to you guys earlier with the insignia here. It's kind of a really neat thing that they've done here in the lake, so really a nice job there. Nice. Should be in the fairway. It's the best drive I've had in a long time. Perfect, perfect, straight up and down. All right, 145 yards out. All right, so we got 143 to the hole. I think we're going to choke down a nine iron, though, and go down one. Let the wind take it in. Perfect, perfect shots. Let's see if it gets there. It will not. Darn it, I should have stayed up one. Oh well. Let's see if I can chip it in. Whoa. Yes, sir. Chipping I'll take that. Well All done. right. Nice little chip in Set there. That'll uh, over be a good way to get a birdie. Let's get a couple more going in and make this more of a nice respectable round. In last hole. We got another birdie in the works here. All right. So we have a par three. Four mile an hour winds. It's 182. Ten feet up the hill. right there and hopefully we'll have a really good shot okay could be good if the wind does Heading its job green here and did not send it as far as to the right as I thought it would but we're middle of the green center cut so okay, a 23 footer from chance here. I didn't throw it out out there far enough on that one, so that'll scoot on by. All right, a little six-foot putt here. And we'll nice save our par, par there. Okay, so that'll keep you at four over and for the round. Hopefully, let's get a couple more here going Coming in. Hole 17, this looks like a good one. opportunity, let's a par five. Here. It's like it opens up into a pretty big fairway here past this tree, so we can get it right past this tree. A little bit of a push. Hopefully the wind will bring that back. Right through the tree. <laughs> it's all right. We'll take that. 288 out there to the center. Good stuff. Okay, we got about uh, 245 to go here. So to the looks like we're six feet downhill. Looks like anything that goes right will fall off. So let's see. Ball's above my feet. Let's see if we can't get a good swing here. And I hooked it. I was afraid of that off that lie. See if we get a good kick and slow down. We'll take that. We're on in two, so we have a nice little eagle opportunity here. Be nice to get this eagle putt in if we can. Whoa, uh, yeah, you hit the green and under regulation on this one. It would be really we'll difficult though. We have an up the hill putt and then it's going to go back cooking. down the hill. So we're 
up now is it going to come back it is not and i might have shoved that too far past the hole darn it really trying to be aggressive there and might have been a little too aggressive okay let's see what you can do with his eight footer and nice i just roll it in there, there for birdie very very close there but Sitting i'm able to get one back over. so that puts us back to yeah. three over let's get another and make it a little bit more respectable at two right. over par let's let her rip so this is the 18th so we'll always like to take a look at the 18th hole it is a little uh hazy here so we'll pull it out you can see is it is a a dog leg to the right and then we'll have another little Waterfall to the left and some bunkers there to protect the green. So should be a really nice looking hole here. We'll have to really dog leg it to the right. I'm going to try and wrap it around this tree a little bit. And I hook it. So it's hard to do that when you hook it. That's for sure. Back to the hook again. Not a good way to start, start in the round uh, there. No good. Especially with this. So now we're just going to have to get it down here in the fairway. And try and par it out, and that would end our round. So not a way I wanted to finish, but okay, a really nice looking. Uh, Let's see about hitting this green, huh? Clubhouse there in the background. It's really looking nice. Waterfall to end it up as well. About 90 yards. Right on our wind, so let's see if we can get this at least semi close to the hole. A little swing glitch there. Man, that was way too hard. We might end up bogeying this one, guys, to end up. On the green, but you still got a lot of work to do. Okay, this one's safe. Oh, save. wow. Car. Yep, might even double it. Wasn't much you could do there. This is this is really not a good ending hole. If I have to say so, that, that, that putt right there is... <laughs> No matter where you go, you're not going to make that putt. Another 19-foot putt from here. And I am going to double it to end up. So way, 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 this might be one of the worst rounds I've had in a very long time. Very difficult course right, for nice me two foot with putt. the greens. There we go. But nice, easy one to it is the what it is. And a uh, really nice course. So right, I will like give this course a today. four stars. All right, thanks for playing today. The greens we'll were atrociously time. hard. But that is okay. So with that, I uh, want to thank everyone who's been watching in the Twitch stream as well as anyone who's uh, watching this on YouTube after the fact. If you have a course that you'd like to be reviewed, maybe your own course or course you've played, you'd like to see that, uh, leave that in the comment section below and I will be getting back to you on that and maybe see your course on the uh, future episode as well. If you'd like to play around with uh, me at any time or be featured in the, in the stream, to send me a friend request there on the PS Network. I am Coaster Royalty. And so with that, that will end up our show this afternoon. This has been the Hooking Slice with Coaster Royalty on behalf of the True North Golf Society. We wish you hitting them straight as always. And until next time, good evening. Is it doing that?